like 72 takes, we finally got it. My name is Brad, and we're going to be working on my uh, custom supercharged Ford Focus today. On this car, I have an M90 Eaton supercharger from a Ford Thunderbird Super Cube. And what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to swap the pulley on one of these Eaton superchargers. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's an M45, an M62, an M90, an M112, or even an M122. It's all pretty much the same. Uh, even if it's a Ford or a Chevy or a Buick, um, the, some of the Jaguars have the Eaton superchargers on them. Even some of the Roush and Saline superchargers, it's all pretty much the same process on how to remove the pulley. So I'm going to show you how to do that on my Ford Focus. Now, most people who are uh, replacing the pulley on their supercharger are doing so to put a smaller pulley on there, um, effectively to make more boost for that engine and get more out of that supercharger. Uh, unfortunately, that's not my case today. I will be reusing the stock pulley. Uh, the reason I am taking this apart is because my bearings and seals went bad and it started slinging oil all over the place in my engine and getting super hot uh, to one point where it actually melted the serpentine belt on there and it snapped completely off. Uh, so I will be uh, replacing the uh, bearings and seals in here, but the uh, process is the same either way. Uh, as you can see from the camera, possibly, uh, it's even leaking oil um, as we speak from the supercharger, so this really needs to be replaced on mine. Now, like I said earlier, um, all these Eaton superchargers are pretty much the same. Um, this is actually a Lincoln Felter uh, pulley removal tool um, that my friend Matt uh, let me borrow. He used this to change his pulley on his um, Corvette ZR1. Um, but like I said, they're all pretty much the same, so I'm just going to slip it over here on mine. You want to line it up, make sure everything is nice and even. I did have to take this one stud out so it could um, slip over the pulley because it was just a little bit too small. You're going to want to hand tighten this down, uh, make sure everything is nice and even and that it's pulling um, on the pulley um, nice and even from each angle. Uh, and then what you're going to be doing is uh, tightening this screw uh, which is going to push against this thread here and uh, just slowly pull the pulley off of the snout. Uh, this is definitely something you don't want to try doing with a hammer uh, as you could damage uh, both the pulley and the snout of the supercharger. I had to put this uh, on the ground and hold it with my feet for um, a little bit to get it going because it was uh, <clears throat> not quite working on the table. Uh, but once you start um, twisting it, you'll feel the initial release and then suddenly the pulley will uh, come off quite easily. And then you'll just have your uh, pulley in here. That leaves your snout ready for another pulley to be put on. Well, wouldn't you know it, it's been five years since we filmed that last clip. We did finish that project, however, I didn't film any more of it. Well, now it's 2020, we're in the middle of the COVID crisis, and lo and behold, I'm doing it again. Since that uh, black card didn't quite make it to fruition, this is now going on my Project XR2 Super Coupe, and I am changing the pulley on the supercharger. I did end up replacing the seal on the snout of that supercharger. That's pretty easy once you get the pulley off. Uh, you've got this uh, spring-loaded tab in here. Pinch those together, that pops right out. Pull that seal out and you can put in a new one. Now here I got a, a ZZ Performance uh, pulley uh, puller to use this time. And a ZZ Performance pulley. This is the stock pulley from the Thunderbird Super Coupe, and this is the new ZZ Performance uh, 3.4 inch pulley. Uh, now you will actually notice that it is a little bit bigger than the original pulley. 
Uh, now this pulley is going to slow down the blower just a tad. And the reasoning for that is I don't know exactly how much boost this is going to make on a two liter engine when this supercharger was designed to push air into a 3.8 liter. By my calculations, it should be around 12 pounds of boost, but I have no way of knowing until we actually get it on the engine and running. And of course, things like the altitude up here in Colorado and having an intercooler on it, a big old intercooler, by the way, uh, is, is probably gonna reduce that boost as well. So we don't have a, a way of knowing. And that's also part of the reason I went with the ZZ Performance pulleys because it has an interchangeable hub on it, um, which has these five bolts on the front. So if I decide I wanna go bigger or smaller, um, or if I just want to change boost on the fly for any reason, obviously I'll have to have a, more belts with me in the car. Um, but I can just take those five bolts off and, take, and swap out the pulley without having to press it on and off every time. Now with every custom project, you're always gonna run into a few issues. And of course I found one here. Uh, this hub on this pulley is actually designed for a GM M90. And not all M90s are created equal. And I'll show you what I mean. Diameter on this hub is way too big for the actual shaft on the pulley. And if you can see here, this pulley shaft is also keyed, and this does not have a key on it. Luckily, I was able to find a guy who makes a hub adapter for the Super Coupe M90 shaft that will work with this pulley. So once I get that in, I'm just gonna have to take this hub off, press that onto this supercharger, and then I can reuse that pulley. So after learning that the hub for the supercharger would not fit, I jumped on the Eaton Superchargers group and started asking some questions. Uh, is there a way I can possibly get a hub? Does anyone make one that I can use and still use this pulley? Uh, luckily, there was a guy on there who uh, is very famed among that group, Nathan Erbst, and uh, he said that he had the uh, CAD file for this. So it took about two weeks to get. Um, the first one I actually got in UPS, uh, USPS, sorry, uh, lost that in the mail. It somehow fell out of the package. I got the package with nothing inside of it, though, so thanks USPS. Uh, Nathan, being an awesome guy, let him know what happened, and he shipped me out another one. So, finally got that, and ready to put on the supercharger snout. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a video if we didn't have a problem, would it? So the ZZP puller and installer that I got, again, does not work fully with this snout since it was designed for the GM 3800 series Eden M90. So the shaft being smaller on this, it has these bolts that are supposed to go into the snout to help you press this on. And of course there, so that it doesn't work. Uh, so I'm gonna have to uh, take this to my work and uh, get it pressed on with a hydraulic press, which is fine, I've done that before. I did that the uh, last time I did uh, this old pulley. Um, so that's perfectly fine. I just kind of wish I hadn't uh, spent the money to buy it. I could have just rented it from ZZP and <laughs> unfortunately I didn't do that. So if anyone needs a uh, 3800 series supercharger pulley puller and installer, let me know because I have one for sale. This hub I got from uh, Nathan Erbst is almost identical to the uh, ZZ Performance Pulley. Fits right into the back of the ZZ Performance Pulley. All the uh, bolt holes line up and everything, so this is perfect. Uh, if I want to switch to a larger or smaller pulley in the future, um, just depending on what this uh, makes boost-wise, then I can uh, do so. You stay there. Speaking of which, I have a uh, 3800 series ZZ Performance hub as well. So if you want a package deal, let me know. I can hook you up because I don't need these things. I ended up needing to use a hydraulic press to uh, get the hub on the snooper charger. Snooper, that's a new one. 
<clears throat> it was uh, pretty easy. I was, I was actually able to uh, uh, get this hub on about a third of the way, but just by pushing it on. And then uh, we went and used that, which acted as a good spacer, and was able to uh, press that down onto the shaft. Uh, everything spins freely, looks great, it lines up perfectly where this flares out. So I'm very, very happy with this. Um, now that I've got that on there, we can go ahead and stick the beautiful ZZ Performance pulley onto the supercharger. gonna <clears throat> tighten it up here kind of like a five lug wheel just go around and make sure those are nice and tight so now we're gonna put the nut back on the shaft to hold the pulley on even though the pulley had to be pressed on it didn't take that much pressure to uh, get it back on. It only took uh, a, a couple of pumps with the hydraulic press to get it on. So um, the nut still is needed to hold it on. I did have to go find um, a new nut uh, that had a built-in washer and I had to find one that was going to fit within this uh, in, in, inside these five bolts but that wasn't too hard to do. Um, it is an M12 by 1.75 nut. Now Ford does not have any service instructions for the supercharger. Um, they only sold it as an assembly, and if anything was wrong with the supercharger, they don't have any service instructions on it. It was just, you had to replace the whole unit. So they didn't give me a torque specification for this. Although after talking to a few people, they said about 75 foot pounds should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, torque that on here. Now I didn't want to hold the pulley from underneath as I didn't want to damage the shaft or any of the bearings. So I came up with this to use the belt to hold the pulley. So I can use that to keep the pulley from spinning and torque it down. Maybe, damn. Okay, so the belt trick only worked until I got uh, that somewhat torqued down. Uh, part of the issue is that this bolt gets tighter at the top, so as the top threads start to come in, um, if they pinch and get tighter, so it really holds that nut on it. That's kind of the problem. So I'm putting a screwdriver um, on the back to hold the shaft in place, and I hope that I don't break anything in the process, but we're gonna go ahead and try that while I tighten this down here. Oh, fuck. Come on. Okay, that does seem to be working though. So we've got the nut on, it's nice and tight. I did loosen these up again just to make sure that those were gonna go in fine. So I'm gonna tighten those back down, although they're kinda useless. Uh, you've got this big old nut holding it down, but it is gonna help keep the pulley aligned so it's not uh, moving around on you. But all that is just extra security, so this doesn't come flying off at 7,000 RPM. All right, that is everything you're gonna to need to know to install a modular hub and pulley onto your Eaton M90 Thunderbird SuperCoupe supercharger. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and on Instagram at DTF Garage. My name is Brad and as always, stay boosted. Shiny.
Ne? Stay boosted.